Welcome back. Following looting and damage to downtown businesses, many have turned the boarded up storefronts into works of art. And today, artists are painting the final murals. Our Gabriela Becerra shares the inspiration behind one piece of artwork. More art is, is better, for sure. For Salt Rock, art is expression. I'm not very loud or a good speaker, but I can paint, and that's how I get my voice out there, you know? He paints large-scale murals across the state and country. This is how I make my living, you know? But this State Street mural is personal. I got uh, two stepdaughters that are uh, black, you know? And we moved up to Wisconsin, and... Um, one moved back because it was it, it just it was hard to go to school and and fit in you know and um, so I thought what's better than painting for them while the details of this young black woman represents his stepdaughter I wish she was here because she would she would get a kick out of it Salt Rock says it's a mural that many will identify with other young girls could walk by and and, and dig it you know because. This is this is how they do. They do their makeup and rock their eyelashes and, you know, so, and jewelry. And as a Native American man, Salt Rock says discrimination is something his family can relate to. All races are, are, are beautiful, you know, and, and the, the time should be changing. It shouldn't be like this, what we're going through. So while he doesn't like to use his voice, Salt Rock will continue to spread positivity through his artwork. It makes me feel good that they're happy with it, you know? Because when I leave and I take off and they come by every day and look at it, they'll appreciate it, you know? That's, that's what it does to people. It makes them happy. They smile, you know? And if you're in need of a smile, take a trip down State Street. I'm Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now. It hasn't yet been determined how long the murals will stay on State Street or what will happen to them once they do come down, but each one will be photographed and archived.